Hello Taurus, welcome back to your monthly zodiac readings. I trust you guys have had a wonderful end to the year or it's about to end for you and you're releasing some of the old energies. Trying to open up to the new ones that are coming in very, very quickly. The first card that's on the table that's representing your energy is potential. You need to know your potential. To manifest new love into your life if that is what you desire. Or to manifest a better love with the person that you are with at this time. Whether you're married, engaged, you have children, you need to know your potential to be great, your potential to have a financial stability in your life, in your relationship as well. You need to believe in yourself, Taurus. Right now we have Saturn in our second house. Second house is your house. Saturn is pressing down on your finances. It's making you more responsible when it comes to your finances. So you need to know where it is that you can tighten up a little bit so your money isn't being leaked out. That's whether you are in a relationship or not. I know that your finances are being stressed and so are your relationships at this time because of Saturn. So be aware of that. But know your potential. You have the potential to make a better relationship, have a better relationship be in a better relationship but you need to know this you have the lovers as your last card or the outcome for your reading but it is a major arcana in that position so it is one of the main things that you are looking at it's your choices the choices that you make during the beginning of the year are going to set the stage for the rest of your year. So you need to focus on that. You need to know that the choices that you're making are the right ones that are made with logic and emotion all at the same time entwined because whatever you choose is going to affect the people that are around you, your children, your romantic partners, if you are single. It can pave the way towards a new romantic partner or away from. So your choices are going to be extremely important as you move through the beginning of the year, as you have the lovers. Also choices with your romantic partner. You also have the high priest here. That means that some of you are thinking about marriage or marriage may um, be something that is positive for you to do at this time. Maybe you have been... Uh, in a relationship with someone for a very long time, perhaps you have children, perhaps it's a foundation that you need. Maybe marriage is something that would be very important for your life, Taurus, as you move through the beginning of the year or make plans towards being married. I know that it's, it's a religious situation. For some of you, you may not have a particular religion or you may not be bound by the religious... Um, beliefs or ties which a marriage will bind you in a certain way it's also very dogmatic in the way that it thinks and that it believes that a person should be or act so it's something that perhaps you want to consider but marriage might be on the table for some of you as you're being blessed as a new step that you should take in your relationship that's just for some of you that doesn't apply for everyone i'm going to read it the way that it comes and in certain uh, times of the reading it'll come the message will come differently but for right now those two cards being next to each other is telling me that for some of you you have a relationship that you need to take to the next level the next level would be marriage why because you have children because you need to solidify your relationship for your children and think of the future plan for the future remember you have the potential to be great to have a great partnership with the partner that you are with now. And if you're looking to manifest a new partner, you have the Ace of Cups on here. You have the lover. So there is a very, very significant partner coming into your life if you are single and you need to open the way for that. There's also temptation here. So you may be tempted to go out or to um, have a little crazy wild affair with someone that is married. Be very careful if you are single or even if you are in a relationship not to become tempted by someone that's very attractive or very alluring but they do have baggage or they do have a relationship that you really do not want to come between that because hence you will have negative karma that you'll have to work through later and if you are already in a relationship and you're hoping to take it to the next level it will fall through. What's crossing you is illusion. 
So you may be under the illusion that you cannot manifest the things that you want in your life, that you just don't have what it takes, that you don't have the potential to bring it on, to bring on a stable finances, to bring on a better relationship. You do. You're under an illusion that you can't. By the light of the moon, you really don't see things clearly and you're not seeing your relationship clearly if you are in a relationship or the importance of it. And if you are single, you're not seeing the potential that you have to attract the right partner into your life or a very significant partner, which on the table are the cards that represent that. So I would um, try to remove the fears that I have about relationships at this time. Try to work through them. Try to see clearly. Try to change your perspective on how you see a romantic relationship. This is also secrets that become unveiled so and they could be secrets about yourself i'm not saying that this is a secret about a partner this is a secret about you it's something about your childhood it's something that perhaps you're working through or some limiting fear that you have that you can't move forward and, and it's going to be revealed to you so that you work through it so that you can get past it whatever these blocks are or fears that that keep you stuck in a place where you think that everything is is there to hurt you or that people are there to to do something wrong in your life, not necessarily. But if you do have hidden enemies, they will come to the surface now and you will see the people that are uh, stopping you from moving forward in a certain direction. It will, it will become obvious to you. If you are in a relationship that's enslaving <clears throat> or that has a lot of negative energy, you're going to start seeing that for what it truly is at this time, Taurus. So you need to pay attention. Don't fall for temptation. Remove the fears that you have of enslavement, of negative thinking, of, of addictions perhaps that you may be under that influence. You need to face your egos, face your fears, face your addictions and get rid of them. Leave them behind this new year. Start working your way out of this energy because it isn't a good place to be. The things that have recently influenced you, the Knight of Swords, a lot of drama. You have a lot of drama in your life, Taurus, and you need to work your way away from that, especially if you have children, because you don't want them to be influenced by all of this drama, all of the fighting, all of the arguments. This could be something that's being uh, mirrored to you again from your childhood, and you need to be strong. You need to know that you have the potential to make things better for your life and for the life of your children just by straightening out this drama or walking away from it if that is what you need to do what is being materialized in your life in the near future is the ace of cups so for some of you that are single there is new love coming into your life you need to move away from that temptation from the addictions from the negative thought patterns from the drama the drama, whatever it takes, even if you have to go see a counselor or you have to see a doctor or whatever it is that you need to do in order to release some of this drama and negative energy from your life so that the new love does materialize because it is there. It is there waiting for you with the lovers. There's someone that's a lot like you, someone that's going to make a great partner with you, Taurus, but you need to release the negative thinking, the drama from your life so that this new partner can actually come in and you need to learn to love yourself as well unconditionally love who you are release the fears in the illusions that you are under okay what is apparent and can be seen is that you're going to have some options that are coming up in the future whether you're in a relationship or not beware of the temptations if you are in a relationship because if you don't want to ruin something good if you have something good with your partner then steer away from the options but if you do have problems in your relationship and you and you know that it's something that you need to change you there will be some options that come up but you need to release a negative energy before these options can become apparent. They may be there already, but you won't see them as such because you're still under the influence of this very negative temptation or energy that's very dark. You need to work your way out of that, okay? What's hidden from you and lives in your subconscious is movement forward. So if you are in a relationship that doesn't serve you, it's time to move away from it. This is in your subconscious mind. It's something that you know you need to do and something that you need to bring to the foreground. If you are single and hoping to meet someone new, there's movement forward that's coming. It's in your subconscious. Again, something that you need to bring to the foreground, something that you need to do in your life. You either need to move What's in your heart? Are you thinking about moving to another place, moving from, from one place to another, 
uh, moving from one job to another, moving out of your parents' home and moving out by yourself. <clears throat> There's some type of movement forward that you're planning on doing or that you've thought about doing. It lives in your heart already. It's in your subconscious. Whatever this is, when this starts to happen, then all of these other things, you need to move away from the fear. You could be in, you could be in a codependent relationship now with your parents or with other people, with maybe roommates. Maybe you feel you don't feel you have the potential to live by yourself. And so the new person isn't coming into your life because you don't have room for this new person in your life right at the time. But if you move away, you move out on your own, <clears throat> you stand on your own two feet, then this person will materialize and you'll probably have more than one option at that point. At that point, you need to make your choice, head and emotion together in order to pick the one that is the right one for you. Because sometimes when we have more than one choice, we may go for the easier one, which is not the right choice usually. We have to go for the one that you have to work harder to get. That's the one that will really make a difference later. Advice from your angels. Be very grateful for what you have in your life right at the moment, for what you have been able to materialize, for the dreams that you want. Grateful for the universe's assistance in your life every single day. That way it keeps bringing more into your life. And you're able to manifest more into your life. <clears throat> So Taurus, you need to see your potential so that you can make your love better, your life better. Maybe religion or moving into a religious um, background or belief, something from your background perhaps, maybe, or just <clears throat> choosing a religion, going, talking to a higher power, a priest, um, talking to the divine in a setting where it's a church or a mosque or whatever it is you believe in. Perhaps you need to, your roots, you need to uh, move towards that a little bit more or maybe this high priest is just representing you being more of a spiritual person gaining more wisdom as you see all of these changes that have happened in your life and you're gaining wisdom from it and you're being able to break away from the drama the negative energy the temptation so that new love can can flourish in your life even if it's with the partner that you are right now because apparently you are with a very significant romantic partner at this time but you could be at opposite ends of the table. You could be at odds with the way that you want to move forward or the things that you want to do. And if you cannot possibly get them on the table, then perhaps it's time for you to break away and move out on your own and make things happen on your own and not be in a codependent relationship with someone that doesn't want to move forward with you. Because in your subconscious lives the chariot, the movement forward in your life, being very harmonious as you move forward through your sheer will alone to make your life a better place, to change things in your life as you move forward. New love. Embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth. So perhaps there's a new love that's brewing in your life, Taurus, for spirituality, for new new information, new growth, new enlightenment for, for knowledge that perhaps you feel you're lacking and you're now trying to achieve some of that. This could also mean a new partner for those of you that are single. As you could see, she's reaching for a star. So it's something that you have wished for, that you have wished for to materialize in your life, something that you have asked the universe to bring to you. So if you're in a relationship, a new partner, it's on its way. If you're single, it's on its way because new love is coming to you, whether it is new love with your work, with your relationship, a new relationship, if that's what you're hoping for, it's coming. Open your arms and to receive, be very grateful for what you already have. Show the universe gratitude so that it brings to you what you have asked for. If you are in a relationship, you need to practice compassion with the people that are in your life at this time. Be very compassionate, be very kind, be gentle, be sensitive with the people around you. See things from a different perspective. Again, here's that word, looking at life from a different perspective. The people that you're with, your own capabilities will help you a lot, Taurus, as you move forward. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So for some of you, yes, this temptation card or the double card itself, it's codependency, it's negative patterns, it's addictions to food, to drugs, to alcohol, to something that keeps you enslaved to your darker side. 
release the codependency that you have to negative thinking, negative patterns, addictions to food, to smoking, to drinking, whatever, to whatever that is that, that's holding you down, you need to improve on that so that your life improves in general. There's a strong magnetic attraction if you are in a relationship with someone. You're very attracted to your soulmate. You love them dearly, but you need to break away from things that are holding you back so that you can see your own potential. If you are single, there's a new person that's coming in, and it's going to be very apparent to you that the chemistry is very magnetic. Okay, you're going to know that, wow, this person really likes me, or wow, I really like this person. I feel so attracted to this person. It's, you're going to be able to feel the magnetism with this person, so you'll know when the new person arrives because of the way that it feels. It will be in this, very distinct. You'll be able to tell. All right, Taurus, I hope you've enjoyed your monthly reading. If you guys would like a private reading with me, please check the link below or write to me at riseshealingrt11 at gmail.com, and we will set up a time for your reading. Love you guys. Have a blessed new year. Bye for now.